Welcome back, YouTubers, brothers, sisters. Hey, uh, I want to talk about one of my favorite stories in the Bible. Uh, it's the story of Peter. Uh, Peter actually was able to walk on water, the same as Jesus. Uh, I want to, as we're reading this out of Matthew 14, uh, listen to the song in the background. If you don't know it, it's Audio Adrenaline. And this song is about Peter and about having faith in Jesus. But let's read through Matthew 14 starting in chapter or in verse 22. And straightway Jesus constrained his disciples to get into a ship and to go before him unto the other side while he sent the multitudes away. And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up into a mountain apart to pray. And when the evening was come, he was there alone. But the ship was now in the midst of the sea, tossed with waves, for the wind was contrary. And in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went unto them walking on the sea. So Jesus had the power, he could walk on water. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is a spirit. And they cried out for fear. But straightway Jesus spake unto them, Be of good cheer, it is I. Be not afraid. Now getting into uh, verse 28. And Peter... Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou, bid me come unto thee on the water. See, Peter recognized when he finally saw that, hey, this is Jesus, and if it is Jesus, and he can walk on this water, then I should be able to too. So he says, Lord, bid me. If it's you, bid me come, that I come out onto the water. And of course, uh, Jesus responds and he says, and he said, come. And when Peter was come down out, out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. And we know that Jesus says that all things that I can do, you can do also. And even greater things, he says that, and uh, we'll, we'll see that in another passage. But we can do all things that Jesus can do. But we have to have Jesus. We, have to have, we don't have the power ourselves. We get that from, from God through, through our faith, through our belief in Jesus. Uh, so we can do anything that Jesus can do. And he, here, here he was walking on water. And even here it shows in verse 28, or in, in verse 29, that Peter himself, he walked on water. Now he didn't make it very far. All right, let's read the rest of it now. Uh, verse 30, But when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid, and beginning to sink, he cried, saying, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus stretched forth his hand and caught him and said unto him, O thou of little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? So yes, we can walk on water, but we have to keep our eyes on Jesus. We have to keep our focus on him. We have to keep him drawn unto us. Once we look to the signs, once we start allowing the, the, the waves and the, the boisterous, it says, uh, once we allow other things to distract us, then we're going to start to sink. So keep your eyes on Jesus. You need Jesus in your life. And if you do, you can walk on water also. So until next time, this is Etonic. God bless. Amen. Amen.